Okay, guys, so one of the problems we've had that was supposed to be cauliflower and it just got eaten. We water it, got good soil, got great soil, but it just got eaten alive by bugs. And you can see we have nothing left to it. That's why I didn't bother showing it to you because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. That's why we're doing this, this home insecticide. Now, what else we got over here? Uh, been kind of hot. Our basil's doing good. What is that? Is that thyme? Oh, no, it's oregano. Duh. Thyme. What am I thinking? All right, so we got basil and thyme side by side. They're doing really good. Been using those in some videos. And then, once again, the bugs just killed this plant. Our leafy plants are getting eaten alive big time. And then this one, too. So, uh, those bell peppers are not doing well in the heat. We started those in the spring. No, we started those when we started everything. Yeah, and it was the spring. And then uh, rosemary is doing good over there. And a weed is growing where we had cilantro. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's, uh, it's better than last year. We're getting better. And our, here's the success. Look at this. We're going to tie these plants up. Our tomato plants are doing really good. No bugs eating over here. Look at that. Look how huge these are. Tomatoes everywhere. We got. I'm going to tie those those branches up right now. But I uh, just wanted to show you the garden uh, before we go inside and start to make our recipe. Okay, so now that you saw my, my gardens being attacked, that's what brought this on. And I got this recipe from Noreen's Kitchen. And I'm putting a link down below to her because she's awesome. She'll explain why each ingredient is being put into this this homemade um, insecticide. And it's all natural and it's safe for your food, okay? So she'll explain that in her video. Check out her video, give her a view, would you please? Uh, I think it's really cool. But here, we're doing an experiment with her homemade uh, insecticide. Okay, so let's put it all together first. I'm gonna go through all the ingredients. The recipe is down below. This is not a recipe to eat, it's a recipe to spray on your plants. So let's start with the basic water. Some coffee, cold coffee. It asked for vegetable oil. I didn't have any on hand, I'm using olive oil. I'm almost positive this for a sticking mechanism, so uh, any, any cooking oil will work. It's funny because it doesn't want to mix with the water. I love that. Check this out. Dish detergent. Ew. Little cider vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar. Cayenne pepper. Granulated garlic. Just in case there's vampire bugs. <laughs> just kidding. And then this. Just a, I, I don't have a dropper, so you're supposed to do four drops. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. There. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna leave this like this for 24 hours and let everything kind of meld together. So it's gonna steep, just like if you're making tea or something. All right, so the next step we do, it's been overnight. I'm gonna strain it. Whoop, do I have enough to hold it? Look at me, I'm always pushing the limits. This is why I screw up so much on my show. There we go. Just gonna pour it in there as I spill everywhere. Why do they not make a pouring spout? Ugh. It drives me nuts. Hang on. Look, at it just dribbles right down the side. Can they not make a cup that, a measuring cup that doesn't, that just pours, that I can pour slowly? Ugh. Okay, there it is. All cleaned up and dry, all beautiful, ready to be used on the plants. So, now let's get the plants in their pots and we will spray them. Okay, so let me show you. There's plant number one. That's not gonna get any spray. And then there's cupcake. Hey, you been eating my leaves? Get out of here, go, go lay down. Go, go, somewhere other than my plants, go. I love you, dog. She's a good girl. Okay, this one is not gonna get the spray. And if you see, this one has the the name's stake in it, see? Where it's the, what is it, the Bonnie, Bonnie pumpkins or whatever. I don't even care what grows, really. I'm just doing it as an experiment. This one's gonna get sprayed. So, let me move this one out of the way. Hold on. Put this one over here. There we go. All right, spraying good. So I'm gonna give it a few squirts. Okay. 
Whew, it stinks. All right, it's been sprayed, and I'm going to spray it like every other day, just a few sprays on it. Just keep the bugs away. And then this one's not going to get anything, so I'm going to set these out. I'm going to set them out here, okay, so they can get, get sunlight and everything. And we're going to show you in a few weeks exactly what happens. I have no idea how this is going to turn out.